What is up NFT gamers and friends? Welcome back to another NFT Gamer TV video. I am Josh757, joined with me today by Green Guy, the leader of the Cuboids. What's up, man? Tell us a bit about yourself and a bit about the project. Let's get right into it, dude. What's up? Hey, Josh. It's nice to meet you, man. Um, Likewise. I'm Green Guy, leader of the Cuboids. My real name is Cher Rose. I'm excited to be here. Um, I think we're going to be sharing some cool stuff here. I've got Cuboids. There are a couple of Cuboids to show you, our game some of his utilities. I think it's going to be fun. Fantastic, dude. And yes, guys, this is another gaming NFT project and it's on Ethereum, right? Yeah, Ethereum, yeah. It's Ethereum based and I'm going into this interview type of deal um, completely blind. Well, I did read the uh, white paper just quickly beforehand because I was too excited. I wanted to see what it was about. And um, <laughs> you're going to be getting kind of like my live reactions off of what Sheros is going to be laying down for us today so without further ado what is realm of the cuboid Sheros? What, what what's going on what is it so the realm of the cuboids um the story behind the cuboids is that they are the og characters in the metaverse before the humans we humans found about that then later because of the expansion of the blockchain technology and everything they got kicked out of their homes so now they're back to take the lands that's All the, right. are the cuboids. So we have a couple of different species of cuboids. All of them have their own issues. They're fighting themselves, and yet they're right. They're fighting themselves because of the Great War. But this will redo. So we have um, six species of cuboids. Um, they engage in battles with each other. They're trying to claim ownership of the lands. Yeah, and I see them right here. We got beasts. We got souls. We got mechas. We got Trogos, Other, and Other? There are two uh, more, yeah. Two more unrevealed species, but the fifth one is a dragon species. Oh, Hasn't okay. Been yet. It's a dragon species. And the sixth one, well, that's going to be a surprise until I'm in day. Uh, from what I can see, it might be Angel? Angel? Maybe? A bit, bit, bit of speculation? No, but these are cool. These are cool. So I have to ask from a gaming um point of view here uh will certain um races have certain stats so will beasts be quicker will um souls be lighter um because i know that's a thing going off of the um white paper that each and every um cuboid is going to have their stats so will race affect the stats at all yes yeah, so the way that works is that all of the species will be combined into one and then, like, you'll have different combinations of NFTs, right? You'll have the yeah. beast mixed with souls and stuff, but their base, they'll have base powers. Like, the beast will be a bit more brutal in a way. You could say that the mech has more intelligence, so you'll have some wisdom attributes and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. Is Realm of the Cuboids free to play, or do I have to have a cuboid? No. Yeah. Is it free to play or play to play? So, yeah. So, the. The best way that we're trying to get everyone in is that we'll have a free-to-play mode and a pay-to-play. But for both those modes, you do need to own a Cuboid NFT. But um, on a launch day or like around a launch day, we'll release the first demo of the game just for people to try it out. So it's going to be free for, open for everyone there. Okay. So so just so that I'm clear, do to be able to play the game, do I need um a cuboid basically yeah yeah and once i've got the cuboid is it then free to play and i can start earning maybe nfts or in-game tokens yeah yeah so within the game you'll have a couple of different modes the free to play you can play with your friends you can play with anyone earn some xp if you complete some tasks you might earn some points some in-game tokens we have an in-game token or you could earn the NFTs. You have some in-game items that you could earn as NFTs. But there's also another mode, stake to play. So players could stake their in-game token to enter the tournaments and stuff like that. And the winners, well, they get, they get the share of their pools. So yeah, I'm actually looking at it right here on the white paper. It says free to play. This mode will allow players to play for free with a with an asterisk with NFT ownership um, to access around the cuboids uh, metaverse and play. Uh, and offer the following features, and we can see all the features here. Stake to play, events and other modes, and leaderboards. 
Will there be um, rewards for placing high on the leaderboards to keep on um, grinding to the top? Is, is that kind of like a thing you guys are... Uh... Yeah, so to keep it fair, I think we'll have different sorts of leaderboards because if you have a free-to-play leaderboard, some for some for the stake to play, and some for like a general leaderboard of who's playing the best, like in terms of scores, um, what kind of rates they have. So yeah, we'll have a couple of leaderboards and depending on those leaderboards, the prices will be different. Okay, that's cool. So, what what type of game is Realm of the Cuboids? Is it is it like a battle royale? Is it like a Pokemon type of battler? Is it a brawler? What is um what type of game is it basically? All right, so one of my favorite games is Super Smash Bros. You have heard of it, right? It's yeah, I've fun. heard of Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something like that. So basically, in that game, you have to push people off the platform. By push means you have to beat the shit out of them and just kick them out. Yep. <laughs> So it's gonna be like that, but a little bit more cute and well, simple. So it's gonna be a brawler action. You have a keyboard, you spawn on the map. You have a couple of abilities, a couple of tasks, no, a couple of abilities, and some base actions that you can use, like ramming into players, jumping above them, and yeah. the abilities like shock waves and stuff like that. You can just push the players out of the map. So essentially, really guys, yeah, just to um, basically, you gotta push all the other players off the map, and then you win. Yeah. 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 Um. So, bouncing off of that real quick, uh, you mentioned an in-game like token. What can we do with that in-game token? I love in-game tokens. What can we do yes. with the in-game token? I think we have the written. Yeah. So we don't have the exact tokenomics, but with the in-game token, you could potentially use it for staking to play in the game. You yep. can use in-game items, like if you want to, let's say, upgrade your abilities. So like I mentioned, you have abilities, right? The abilities oh, okay. are available as NFT cards, so you can use them. You can prepare your best deck of your best abilities. You'll have like three passive abilities three and two action abilities. So you could use that to upgrade them, burn them into a new one, stuff like that. And you'll have some in-game tokens that grant you XP as well. That so sounds awesome. That. Will, we, will, yeah. we, will we be able to um, choose our own passives and actives? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, dude. So, so they're not like already um, set from minting the cuboid. We, we actually get to like customize our like little loadout and go into the brawler. It's, yeah, it's more like you'll have to get packs of cards and the best. So like you have levels of cards, right? If you're a level one cuboid, you only have a certain level of cards that you can use. Oh, okay. If your cuboid levels up, you can get access to better cards. And you right. can get the cards from... I think we'll probably have a mint section in our website that allows you to purchase packs of cards during the launch of the game. So that would, so you can distribute the cards to the people. So will that, will, will these packs be purchasable with the in-game token? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Will there also be another purchase option? So if I wanted to pay for ETH, can I just uh, throw a couple of the ETH at it? Or is this strictly, it's all in game, you have to earn your way to the top type of deal? What is what is the plan there? I, I don't think we have decided on that factor yet. It depends on, so we're really relying on a community to develop the game, right? So we have the base and external of the game. We have a game demos where I, I think we have a stream almost every day or every other day showing the community what the game development has been like. So they, they do put their ideas on like how it should be, the tokenomics and how should the games work? So it's not really decided yet, but we're working on that. Fantastic, dude. Let me just uh, have another quick look at this beautiful um, light paper really quickly. I see if I can't sniff out more uh, uppercut questions I can give you. By the way, th these uh, cuboids look really cool. I oh, can see like... Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking at like the little platformer here on the uh, game section, page 10 of the... Uh, of the white paper, I imagine like that's a little ledge you can uh, bounce people off of. So is is this going to be physics based as well? So like if I'm on a if I'm on a ledge and I'm going down on a ledge, uh, what it looks like here will I like gain speed and uh, yeah, so power? The current, the current picture that you're seeing is of the sandbox mode. So when oh, you right. get to the realm of cuboids, there's a realm to you, right? So it's like a sandbox where you can explore the realm, interact with the NPCs that tell you the story. Do a couple of like quick mini games, and that sandbox place will lead you to the actual PvP brawler. Okay, that's cool. 
yeah, just to get the project information in a better way, you know, inside the game. Yeah. Oh, also, on the um, stake to play, um, will I be staking my... I think I've read it here. Will I be staking my cuboid token to earn rewards? Is it the in-game token I'm going to be staking to earn it's rewards? In-game token. In token. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. a last question on the in-game token. Will we be able to sell it or trade it for... Um, you know, so for example, can I go on Pancake Swap and then trade the in-game token for BNB or something like that? Can we trade it externally out of the game itself, or is it just an yeah, in-game yeah. token? We can trade it out of the game, but we're working on details like whether we should allow trading into the game. So, um, so like people who have bought it externally, putting it back in—that that's what you guys are are thinking about. Yeah, working on. It. Yeah, that's what we're working on. But for sure, you could trade that for outside, yeah. Oh, okay. I wonder how that would work, because, like, if you can only withdraw it out and then trade it, and then can't... Is the idea to, like, stop people from having too many tokens or something like that? Because how would it work not that. coming back in? Yeah, because we're working on the tokenomics right now, the exact... Right. Buy of the token, how it how would it get to the people? So that's not to decide right now. It's just that we have tokens that you can trade in, and you could probably buy it inside. We're working on that detail right now. Okay, it's a work in progress. Also, yeah. uh, a super important question that we skipped over: How much is the mint? Like the mint per, per cuboid? Per cuboid? Yeah, per cuboid. What is the price per okay. cuboid? Yeah, so at the moment we have our first 100 OGs on OpenSea, right? So they're listed at 0 0.069 Ether. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so the pre sales will probably have the same price, 0 0.069, but the actual mid price would be 0 0.075. Oh, okay. So the earlier you get in, you essentially yeah. get it for a better price. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, fantastic. Um, now, as I understand it, I believe you might have a little something something to show me so I can show all of our lovely peoples watching. Is that is that true, Mr. Green Guy? It's true, Mr. Josh. Um, I want to see if I can get you in to play with me. Yes, destroy me. <laughs> destroy me. Yeah. Um, does Zoom allow for us to share a screen with input? Let me just check. Yeah, oh. Zoom should allow us to um to uh, share screen. So what we're gonna do for the YouTube video, guys, we're gonna get it all set up, and then I'm gonna edit it to where we can are uh, like maybe playing around with the keyboards. I don't know what Mr. Green Guy has installed for me, but with the power of editing, we'll be there now. Boom! Hopefully that transition was smooth enough. Uh, here we are in the um, realm of the keyboards. I am the green one, and Mr. Green Guy is the purple one so give us a rundown uh mr green guy what are we dealing with here what's in our arsenal what can we do what can we expect yes. so this is um a quick demo a very early demo of the pvp mode of the realm of cuboids so as you can see we are two people here in the actual game we'll be like six or seven cuboids here um we have a couple of abilities that you can see on your screen so at the moment in this demo we have like jump we got dash right and we've got the shockwave look at this <laughs> oh yeah okay, yes so, dude so the object objective is to like push each other jump over each other or whatever you want to do but you have to push each other off the map and you also have like a health system right so the more damage you get the more easier it is for you to get out of the map you know oh okay i, I didn't notice that so like if i keep hitting you with my shock waves maybe and keep bumping it like into you will accure damage and then it'll become yeah. um over time more easy for me to push you off of the arena yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, you did. There you go. So, and probably in the game, we won't have a respawn. I think we're deciding on that. Should we have a respawn? Should be fun. We could have some sort of lives in the game. You get to yeah, maybe like in. some health potion behind this tree. Like, boom, back to normal. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, yeah, the game will have like lots more abilities. You could get your action cards sorted out before you get in the game. You choose your deck, the best deck that you want. And then you, yeah, you get into action. Let me stand on top of you. Hey, come here. 
Go, go on, go on, go on, get on top of me. I don't, I don't normally do let people do this on the first interview, Mr. Green Guy, but for you. <laughs> Alrighty. Fantastic, dude. Yeah, man. Have we got like another level to um have a little yeah, bit of a sneak exactly. peek at? Yeah, let's let's try that. And so the environment that you're seeing right now on the screen, it's actually the the game engine that we're developing on. It's called Unity. Mm -hmm. I've used Unity for like five, six years now. So pretty decent. Oh my lord. Yeah, look at this. So here we get to see your jumping abilities. All right. Oh my! No, bro. Like, just just for the record, guys, I have a little bit of input lag because we're using like um a sh uh, a sharing service. Oh my lord, I'm so bad, bro. <laughs> <You're Dude. keep> <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, did you notice on the top left is the score that I added? So the it's more like your death count. How many times you've fallen off the ground? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, eight to one. Wow. T t tells me that after I've only like died a couple of times, chat. Oh my lord. Yeah, you have to jump and then dash to get on this. Oh yeah. Imagine it's a little you... bit. Oh, oh, oh. Did a bump. Completely calculated. <laughs> <laughs> Completely calculated, yeah. Yo, this Dying. isn't this is not the easiest thing in the world. And does this have controller support? Yeah. Oh my lord. I, you know what? If I was on controller right now, I'd be slaying this dude. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Let's say that. Yeah, but this is really cool. And oh, like thanks. each of like the NFTs, um, you know, the OG pre-sale and main sale, uh, etc., are like going to be uh, uh, So if I own one that's a soul, it'll be a soul in game. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it won't be a soul. Like you be have to be extremely lucky to get all of these soul attributes. It's more like a combination of soul yeah, and yeah, soul. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, yeah, that's exactly that's going to be it. Yeah. Hey, so what was that? Don't push me. No, it's too late. Said, <laughs> I need it. I need it even. I need it even up that death counter, dude. Oh, oh, I just lagged out of the game. Oh wait, I'm here. Oh my lord, I can't, bro. It's 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 kind of challenging because like how uh, like it feels so, yeah, like I'm on yeah. ice. So you see how yeah, like, so I move and then I stop, but I keep on going a little bit. The like the momentum. So will heavier, yeah, yeah, yeah. So will heavier cuboids have like less of this momentum? You think? Yeah. So like one of the things we can add, we'll, we'll probably add is like a weight factor, right? So let's say if you have got a beast body, you're yeah. supposed to be more heavier, more slower, but you've got more, let's say, more inertia or less inertia. One of those. So more inertia. More inertia. Yeah. More inertia. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, dude. So um, when is so Oh, go on. Yeah, so like this is the, the simplest mode, right? You got two people pushing each other off. We'll probably have some like mini games in there. Like, let's say, oh, let's play tag, tag. Oh, come catch me. Yeah, that'll be like, I mean, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I mean, uh... <laughs> dude, I, I cannot do this. <laughs> come catch I me. I cannot oh, do no. it. Wow, <laughs> bro. There you go. I got you. I got you. That counts. I did move oh, you. Okay. My turn. My turn. You're not going to be able oh, to catch oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh 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 keep dying. That's not yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, the strat, the strat <laughs> I just I can't I can't fucking <laughs> I can't uh got it. Yeah. It does take a little bit of getting used to, I'll be on I'll be honest. I, I kinda like it. Yeah, alright, alright. That's awesome. We also throw in a few traps in the game, right? You can push instead of pushing each other off, we push them to a trap like a small bomb or something oh, that would be cool so like like it's yeah. kind of like a shock wave if you bump into a bomb you just go yeah exactly exactly and one of the last things that we're planning we're still working on the details of it but we're planning to have a lands option right so instead of having to play these these maps that's that's designed by us you could potentially own a map and make it your own you know you can design it however you want and people play on your land and that way Let's say if someone plays on your map on a stake to play, so you can get a you can get a small portion of that stake amount to you. Mm. Like passive income. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I, I'm as everyone knows that's watching this video. If you know anything about me, I love lands. I absolutely adore lands. But yeah, that sounds like a really awesome idea, dude. So yeah, that's what we're trying to build upon. Um, it's still 
in the works, like we're planning all the details, what's the game going to be like, how the land's going to be distributed, how the token's going to be distributed. But yeah, if you do want to help out, you could be an OG right now, come join our Discord, and yeah, join your ideas. That's the best way. Like we have a stream almost every other day explaining what the game's going to be like. We're doing dev streams and stuff like that. But get off, man. This is not. Oh, damn, bro. This is hard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh shit! Easy peasy, easy peasy. Oh, oh my lord! <laughs> Chocolate yeah. two OP guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think oh. a bit of that helps. Yeah, I, I, yeah. See, I can't, I can't do that. Even if I, I can't move around in that circle, like a nice circle. Yeah. See, I can't do that. Yeah, that, that's probably it. Well, or maybe I'm just trash. Um, yeah, okay. It's so difficult. Um, but yeah, dude, no, I'm excited for this, man. It's awesome. got, got a nice Definitely. little project going on here, dude. I love it. Love the look of it. Love the aesthetic. Um, can't wait for obviously more levels to be developed. Mm -hmm. And if you want to catch up with the project, guys, their Discord, everything will be in the description down below. So make sure you join and check it out. Be early. Um, yeah, uh, Mr. Green Guy. Uh, have you got anything else um you want to talk about or anything else to show yep we do so let's try to yeah so we also have the sandbox mode it's not like a game it's more like you hop it when you first go into the realm it's a big sandbox like you can explore the realm interact with the npcs get to know the story the project status stuff like that so we do have that mode available on our website but i could show you on our pc right now yeah let's so go dude let's get to it so can everybody do this demo like uh, when i post this interview which would be today obviously um will they be able to do this for themselves what we're about to do yes yeah, so you can access the sandbox yeah that okay that's that. cool yeah, yeah let's have a look so let me one and boom after some more technical difficulties on my end we're back on the website in the beta launch where we can um, explore this sandbox a little bit, which has interactable characters, as you can see on screen right now. Now, just to say, um, when you are moving around um, with the camera in the sandbox, you have to keep your mouse in this little rectangle here to actually like move your mouse around, just in case you're trying to figure out like why your mouse might not be moving the thing yet, because the mouse has yeah. to be centered. But green guy give us the rundown what we're looking at right now so this is basically the realm of cuboids um it's kind of like a project information slash explore the story and the team behind it you've got a couple of cuboids there you can talk to you've got a few boards that display the project information the roadmap the cause of the team and stuff like that and in the actual game this will be kind of like a lobby you spawn here you choose whatever you want to do, and there'll be a link here or a port here that directs you to the actual, to the actual PvP game. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. And this would be like basically the roadmap, right? Yeah. We have we've got the roadmap up on our website as well, so the main page as well. But just to have it here. So this launch, as you can see, is a better launch. Some of our information is has been updated since, so all of the new updated information will be reflected here so and these like um little interactable npcs just basically give you like a quick rundown of yeah. the lore and, and stuff like that there are three kind of species right but a total species are six so stay tuned for that they have their own stories there we go all the story there and I'll be honest with you uh, guys, we thought we was recording like this section earlier on, but there is one thing I really want to go over again, and that's this board over here. So if I may read again, um, our cause, we wish to empower and serve the deaf and hearing impaired community. The team has been developing a solution to that, um, enables sign language to voice and back translation using AI. The majority of the proceeds from this project will be used to further develop our solution and be donated amongst charities for hearing loss, disabilities, and STEM research. Something super, super important that I wanted to note. Um, I didn't know that until reading that, and that's part of my language. Pretty fucking cool, dude. I really like that. Um, yes, I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, that's insane. And you also mentioned something else about the original 100, which was 
royalties how like what's the percentage and how would how would that work for the original 100 yeah so our current first hundred og collection is an open sea you can find the link somewhere here um the first hundred are basically like to find our early adopters right so we have benefits like 2.5 percent share in royalties for both primary and secondary sales you've got some in-game benefits when you release the game some exclusive air airdrops and giveaways and such yeah yeah, that's awesome, dude. And when he says 2.5% royalties, that's split across the original 100. Yeah. It's not like you get 2.5% yeah, yeah. per, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. cuboids. <laughs> let's say you own like four cuboids, that's four shares in that. Yep. So, so they do yeah. stack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Fantastic, dude. And yeah man that's pretty oh. much it i mean can we find it again i, I do want to show it off i've decided i do want to show it off so uh yeah, green so guy challenged me in our last little recording to find a bug and i did find one. Oh, there you go now i'm swimming <laughs> again <laughs> so by the way you guys can check out all the bugs right now we have a discord thing where we should showcase all the bugs right yeah. because we've technically fixed most of them so we'll be updating this link very soon. So if you want to hop in right now, check out the bugs. They're really fun. You can fly around, stuff like that. But they'll be updated. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, dude. I mean, again, guys, this is like a beta type of deal. So this is to be expected. But this is cool. This is cool. Um, <laughs> so with that said, Green Guy, is there anything else you want to go over real quick? Yeah. Yeah, so as you see, the recent, recent spike in Ethereum and Gatsby, it's all crazy right now, yeah? Yeah. So we're actually going on our Discord. We have a thing that you could get the first 100 minted without gas. So be sure to check that out. So I mean, basically, guys, the first 100 cuboids will be gasless. All you're gonna have to all you're gonna have to do is just uh, reach out to the team in their Discord, and they'll yeah. um, communicate with you on how that would work. I don't know how that would work myself, but that's so cool. And as I said before, the if it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. that's what uh, gas does to me like literally just cover up my entire system then boom um no that's really cool of you guys though to um incentivize early participation in the project and help out yeah. with the gas fees because they can be brutal like sometimes they're decent for ethereum um but they can be brutal sometimes so fair play to you guys man i'd, I'd really like that yeah it's really brutal these days so that's why we need to have something that yeah yeah, fantastic, oh, you're dude. Falling. You're still falling. Yeah, I, I know. Well, do you want me to relaunch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I, I mean, I, I, uh, I wish I could fly up. I'm gonna have to find how I can fly up. Um, I, I mean, think... this is very bug launch, so you could probably find a way. Yeah, I'm not saying otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Um, is that everything, Green Guy? Yeah, that's about it. So. I think you can find the links. We have our OS collection, OG collection on OpenSea. Um, right we're now? We're going to launch in about two weeks, I believe. Oh, actually, yeah, about two weeks, yeah. Fantastic. And, and yeah, again, so, oh, go on. Sorry, Green Guy. Yeah, so uh, this is actually the sandbox version. We showed a yep. PvP version. All the merge into one. So we released the whole game, or like the demo of the game, around the launch of our main mint. Yeah. Fantastic. Again, everything will be in the description for you guys. Please check them out. Please join their Discord. This is a really cool little project. Um, I'll be keeping my eye on it. And with that said, Green Guy, thank you for coming on and giving me giving me your time. And um, I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties we've bumped into today. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> yeah, dude. We should definitely do this again, yeah, man. Honestly. Yeah. But um, without further ado, NFT friends and gamers, um, until the next time. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.